Hello, hello, hello. This is Adrian Obi, Capricorn Tigress of astrologyalookinside.com. And I am coming to you with the astrological forecast for the sign of Gemini. Gemini, happy November to you, Geminis. Today is October 27th, and the moon is new in Scorpio. And um, that is falling in your sixth house, uh, Gemini. And so uh, Geminis may be feeling some um, emphasis in their health. Maybe today you might have felt uh, some issues with your health. And over the next few weeks, you might feel uh, just some twinges with your health. I would think for Geminis, it'd be a good time to watch your diet, uh, maybe eat light, um, stay away from sweets and sugars and things like that. Um, and, you know, just over the next few weeks, just kind of keep an eye on your, your, uh, your health, your diet, your hygiene, that type of thing, and your work. Your work life may be uh, affected. And I'm not sure if it's a good thing because you guys have Neptune retrograding up in your 10th house of career. So I really want you to pay special attention to the things that are happening at your work and because they could affect your long-term career. So if, if you do that, that'll be helpful. Overall, I think it'll be good for you because you know the North Node is in Cancer, which is in your solar second house. I think it's putting emphasis on money for a lot of Geminis, and that's a good thing. Uh, on the 30th, Mercury is gonna be conjunct Venus, and I think that's also gonna be very good because that Mercury and Venus are in your sixth house of work and health. And uh, again, keep your mind and your eyes on your health and what you're eating and try to get enough exercise this month. Now, one of the things that I am a little bit concerned with is on the 12th of November, there is gonna be a full moon in Taurus. And that full moon in Taurus is gonna be falling in your solar 12th house. That's the house, house of self undoing. You guys hear me talk about it a lot. So it's got Uranus there, retrograding. So my big concern is that you guys watch that you're not doing crazy things in private. Things that could be dangerous to your health maybe, dangerous to your, your reputation, dangerous in general. I'm talking about the, 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 you know, the things, the skeletons in the closet. That's drugs and drink and alcohol and, and sex, you know, illicit sex or affairs or cheating or it's all kind of things that we do in the 12th house. That's what people do, you know? So it's the stuff we stuff into those closets we don't want people to see. But the full moon is gonna be there on the 12th, which means it's gonna be illuminating all your hidden secrets like that. That is really, not, I really need to let you guys know that. So if you've got something hidden in there, it could be anything from an emotional disorder or, or you know, to an affair. It could be anything that's, a, a hidden in the closet. Gems, be aware of that. It could come out. I got a Gemini progressed moon, so I'm like, what's that? What could that be? So be aware of that. A Chiron is in the 11th house for you guys, which is the house of friends. And so I think a lot of um, gems might have been going through, you know, it's been painful when it comes to friends lately. It's not been easy. You could have fallen out with a friend, um, you know, or maybe it's a time for you to heal uh, friendships that you might have let go of or fallen out of. It is the great healer. Wherever Chiron is, it's healing. And for you, it's falling in the house of friends. It's also the house of, of groups, associations, organizations that you might belong to. It's uh, groups and places like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Pinterest, stuff like that. So be aware of that. Uh, Saturn and Pluto are in your eighth house, and that's the natural house of Scorpio, which, you know, there's a lot of emphasis in Scorpio this month. I just feel an overall sense of heavy Scorpio influence in your life for the month. And, you know, Scorpio is at 8th house in particular. It, it, it's quiet. It's dark. It's secretive. It's all the, like, again, the deep, dark secrets, the skeletons in the closet. It's the secrets that you have. It's the secrets that you keep. And I would say, if anything, you know, especially with Chiron being in the house of friends, be careful of the, you know, your friends and, 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 and who you tell your secrets to. You want to make sure you're telling your secrets to the right people. 
you don't want to just, you know, give it to anyone arbitrarily. And I want you to be cautious of the fact that there could be enemies out there. You know, Jupiter is in Sagittarius, and that is in your uh, solar seventh house of enemies. So it's possible that you guys could have some enemies out there. Now, the good thing is on the 2nd of November, that Venus is going to be moving into that area, into the sign of Sag. And I think if there is problems in your relationships, especially like your marriages or your very significant relationships, I think with Venus there, along with Jupiter, I think your relationships are going to heal. I really do. Because that's love. That's, that's an abundance of love to give to someone else. And I just hope that someone else is your marriage partner if you have one. But, you know, it's funny, Mars um, is, well, it's eventually going to be going out of it, but it's been in your fifth house for a while because Mars has been in Libra. And um, I just hope that you've been taking advantage of that because Libra is a sign of marriage and the fifth house is a sign of love. And so this has given some Geminis a really great opportunity to get back to love again. And I hope that you've managed to do that, Geminis. So this overall has been my take on your horoscope. I wanted just to state though that Mercury is going to be retrograding on the 31st and that's going to be in your uh, solar sixth house. And that's more of that career again. That's more of that or work and health again. And so I just want you to be cautious of that because that, that could, uh, that could be something. I just wanted to check something in, in Mars. Mars goes into Scorpio on the 18th of November. Okay, so you have until the 18th until it goes into the sixth house. And, and then it's really going to be a lot of emphasis on your, your health and your work after that. Okay, so um, I, you know, that's pretty much what I wanted to tell you for now. I'll come back for November because, you know, I'm looking here and I'm seeing that uh, the sun goes into Sag on the 22nd. And then the new moon is going to be in Sag on the 26th. So I'll definitely come back in order to talk about that, probably mid-month in November, Gemini's, to go over some of these things. Because, you know, when all of these planets start to shift into Sagittarius, well, that's going to be opposite Gemini. And so a lot of gems are going to be feeling that. A lot of gems. Once the sun enters into Sagittarius on the 22nd, I mean, it's, you know, you're going to feel that. And also, I just want to state that Mercury is going direct on the 20th of November, the 20th, just in case I don't get back by then. I should, though. Okay, you guys. Well, this has been my take for Gemini's from now, which is the 27th of October, or about the, I would say, the 20th of November. So I think most of the emphasis is going to be in that sixth house. And, um, you know, between the sixth and seventh house, that's your work life, your health, and your partnerships. So it's, 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 it's a good thing, especially I would take advantage of that Mars that's still in your solar fifth house. I mean, if there's love to be got, get that love. That's all I got to say. <laughs> okay, Gemini's, well, much love and light to you guys. And, you know, before you go, please take a moment to like and share and subscribe. Subscribe to our videos or, you know, to our channel and share our videos. And be sure to hit that little bell to make sure that people you know, that you get your notifications from, um, you know, when you hit the bell, it automatically lets you know that I've got something new uploaded. Okay. Okay. And the rest of the things I'm going to post below is there's so many things like where to go to astrologylookinside.com and how to join our Facebook group where I give away free readings and things like that. Okay, you guys, well, much love and light to you. Blessings to all. Namaste.